Hi, I'm Megan Cooper, the Executive Director of Film Dayton. Over the past year, we have launched a really exciting initiative that has brought people together to launch our original web series, Freak Club. Professionals and aspiring filmmakers working together side by side, creativity and talent abounding. Take a look at this behind the scenes look at what's coming with Freak Club. Well, this, uh, this project came about as a result of uh, far too many beers one night at the trolley stop. Uh, Mike King, uh, myself, John Mays, uh, Al Light, and Dave Temesfeld were sitting around trying to figure out what to do about um, uh, reinvigorating film connections. And this is about a year, maybe a year and a half ago that we were doing this. And so we're drinking beers and having a good time. And I think it was Mike King. I think I should blame Mike King for this, probably. Uh, it certainly wasn't me, um, said, hey, why don't we uh, produce a web series and wrap all the film connection stuff around that? And of course, I've been uh, a big advocate of these web series for a long time, and so the very first thing I said was, yes! Uh, and it just kind of went from there. We sort of figured out how to do it. We sort of figured out that uh, we wanted to involve as many uh, non-professionals as we could in the thing to make it both a training event and a fun event for the professionals that have a tendency to shoot mostly business to business kind of footage. This gives us a chance to do something that's really unconstrained, that we, as, as much as our imaginations can dream up, we can do it, we can put it on the screen and have fun. Uh, the project kept growing and it kept getting bigger and it kept getting bigger. Um, we started out by doing a pitch it session for this like we do at the film uh, uh, festival every year, uh, where we had several uh, aspiring writers pitch their ideas to uh, a panel of professional judges. Uh, one was selected uh, called Freak Club, which was written by Alexandra Grzynski. Uh, Alexandra teamed up with uh, uh, Nicole Simmons, Al Light, and myself, and we worked on script. Uh, Nicole and Alexandra worked pretty extensively over a year to really develop the final scripts uh, that we see today. So it went from that, we got final scripts, and we, we went into production, which is uh, uh, you know the fun part uh, that you're seeing here on this video, I assume. You're seeing some of the behind the scenes stuff. How's it going? It's outstanding. We're, uh, we've had uh, so far two great weekends uh, out of three, and uh, we're ahead of schedule, and we're cranking it off, and it looks beautiful. I'm really thrilled with uh, the way everything is coming together. We've had uh, great people working on it uh, throughout the whole thing. Absolutely spectacular people um, uh, all along the way, from, from people that are absolutely brand new and never worked on a film before, to guys that have worked on a lot of films before, to guys that are pros doing this every day to make their living. Everybody has been spectacular. Everybody has stepped up. Community has stepped up in terms of donating food, donating uh, props and costumes, donating uh, vehicles. Camera department and Midwest Grip and Electric have donated stuff to us to get this done. It's been one of the most amazing things I've ever, ever been a part of. Well, let's see. I started off with, uh, I pitched it for Film Dayton and have been kind of around since the beginning of it. And since production started, I have worked on PR, trying to get some uh, buzz about the whole web series going um, through Facebook and Twitter and uh, press releases, things like that. And then actual production, I've just been kind of helping out with various things. And the last two weekends, I've been AD, which is also assistant director. Free Club's about a band of misfits who each specialize in a different area of the paranormal who sort of come together to activate. Um, this is, the first six episodes are rather like the Avengers of assembling the team. Um, kind of revolves around uh, Morgan Green, a high school teen who is interested in the connection between science and the paranormal. And Morgan has aspirations of greatness with her paranormal blog, so that's why she's trying to assemble this team. Um, we also have Olive Turner, who is a beginner in discovering her psychic abilities. A little bit psychic, a little bit telekinetic, a little bit of an empath. She gets uh, mysterious visits from a shadowy apparition at night, so that's what brings them together initially. Baxter's kind of an asocial person. It, his obsession with Bigfoot doesn't really help. Recently, he has had to do an 
a case where he must investigate a ghost that has been haunting his arch nemesis, um, Olive Turner. The character I play is Olive Turner. She's known as the mean girl at Bombeck High, and she has even has a web series where she makes fun of lots of people in her school that are kind of nerdy or geeky, like the freak club, their paranormal society. And she mostly makes fun of these characters because she herself is haunted by weird, like, shadowy figures, and she has these paranormal abilities that she can make things explode or she knows things about people. So she seeks this freak club that she's been making fun of for their assistance. And that's how the whole storyline between Morgan Baxter and Olivia takes place. Well, I've always teased them, and I didn't really know them very well, but after I found out that they were, they made up this free club society, I seek Morgan for help originally, and she scares me away, so I seek Baxter's help, because they know a lot about the paranormal society type stuff, and I was hoping they would have a ghost cure for my weird psychic abilities. Hi, I'm Kaylin Corstania. I'm on the set for Free Club, and I play Morgan Green. Uh, Morgan is definitely a little scientist. Uh, she goes to Bombeck High, and she's very into parapsychology, basically anything paranormal. She and her best friend, uh, Baxter, have their own club called the Dayton Paranormal Society, um, and it's all about anything like Bigfoots, uh, ghosts, anything paranormal uh, something, uh, is something that they're very interested in. Um, and they've been best friends forever, so they've really had quite a history of friendship. Um, and then the popular girl, Olive, um, starts to contact Morgan, saying that, you know, she, she thinks there's a ghost problem in her life. And uh, with that, Baxter and Morgan really become start becoming friends with Olive. And so d even though they're very contrasting in characters. It's that juxtaposition that I think makes uh, adds to the show, and you definitely get to see their friendship form. <laughs> Hi, I'm Anne. I play the characters of Rosie and Raven. Raven is actually more of the original standing of the character. Um, she was raised in a cult and witnessed some terrifying, horrible things, was removed from the cult and created an alter ego, a split personality named Rosie. Um, I love both of these ladies. Raven is kind of her uh, released dark side where, you know, you're not fighting anything. You're kind of going on animal instinct and you can let yourself have fun and be a little evil. I like her. Um, and Rosie has been really fun to play. Uh, she is a little hippy-dippy. Um, she's trying to basically have everyone follow their happy energy, and, um, at the same time, she has a mission. She, uh, has a mission to protect, uh, these kids. She's, I believe she's the next incarnation on Touched by an Angel, and, um, she takes that duty very seriously, but, uh, she just has a lot of quirks that, uh... <laughs> make her fun to play, so. Camera speed? Sound speed. Sound speed, camera speed, mark it. Scene 6-34 Alpha, take two. Thanks so much for checking out Freak Club. Stay tuned to filmdayton.com for our first episode coming soon.